Hello everyone, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. My name is Brandon, and we are flowing into fall. So for the entire month of September, every Wednesday, we will meet you on the mat for a 30-minute yoga session. So all you need for today's class is yourself and a mat, and maybe a block for some support if you have one. Not required. And today we're going to go through a little bit more of a restorative class. Um, many people started school this week. It may or may not have affected you. Um, so if it has, maybe your week is a little more busy. Maybe um, you have a lot more going on. And you just need some time to, to regroup and find some calm. So let's begin today's class in a nice, comfortable position. For me, that's seated. It may be seated for you or it may be kneeling. Just any position where you can find some nice length in your spine, sitting up nice and tall. And let's begin by just grounding, coming into this space, coming to a good space physically and mentally beginning to connect with your breath, beginning to lengthen the breath, breathing in through the nose and out of the nose. Maybe closing your eyes or softening your gaze for a moment, allowing your shoulders to soften, releasing any tightness in your facial muscles, softening your torso, just feeling yourself rooted in through the mat. And this would be a perfect opportunity to maybe set an intention for today's practice. And it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Just think about why am I here? Why did I show up to this class today? And if you can't think of anything, that's fine too. Take a moment to just release any expectations of yourself, of me, of this class, and just be open to possibilities. On your next inhale, begin to lift the arms up to the sky. Tuck your chin to your chest. 
inhale, lift the heart, lift the head. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back. One more time. Inhale, lift up, open up, shine your heart through. Exhale, round the back out. And then just come back to seated position. From here, let's make our way to a tabletop position, meeting in hands and knees. Taking a moment to just check our alignment. So uh, hands underneath your shoulders, knees about hip width apart. And we're gonna spend a little time on our hands and knees for the next few poses. So if you have any type of discomfort, you may wanna double up your mat, or you can roll your mat back so it's a little bit more comfortable on your knees. And just begin to spread your fingers apart and really try to use your fingers to hold most of your weight so you're not putting a lot of pressure on your um, wrist here. From here, step your right leg back, bring it up behind you, nice and tall. And either keep it here or bring your left arm and reach it forward. Finding balance. Keeping that right foot nice and flexed. Activating the right glute to get as much height as you can. A few more breaths right here. Keeping your neck neutral. So not looking up or too far down. And keeping that leg where it is, let's bring the left hand down and begin to lift the right arm, coming into a modified side plank. Either keeping your gaze down towards the ground or up towards the sky, whatever feels right for you. And then gently bring that hand and knee back down to the mat. Then step the left leg back, nice and tall. And you keep the right hand where it is or lift it up. Left foot flex. Reaching forward with the right fingertips with the right hand. Trying to get a little height here with your arms on your leg. From here, bring the right hand down to the mat and begin to open it up to the other side. Left arm onto the sky. Bring the left hand down. From here, bring the left leg all the way through. Coming to a low lunge. And then rise up as you inhale, lifting arms up to the sky. So if you get a little hip opener here, just begin to lower your hips forward and down. Keeping the shoulders square to the front, not reaching too far back, but really finding that hip opener here. Then bring the arms down until your low lunge and begin to walk the hands back as you straighten your left leg. And when it gets nice and straight or almost straight, take a deep breath, inhale, flex your left foot, and then lower down into the stretch to really activate a good hamstring stretch here. Good, begin to walk the hands back forward, come back to your low lunge. Bring your right foot up. 
step back to plank. Left foot, left, right foot comes forward. Lower down to low lunge on this side. Untuck your left foot. And on your next inhale, rise up with the arms up top. And again, begin to lower down into the stretch so you feel a nice hip opener here. Keeping the shoulders soft. Letting the pose do the work. Deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, bring your arms down, up into a low lunge. Begin to walk the hands back to straighten the right leg. Right foot flex, deep breath, inhale. Begin to lower down until you feel a nice, deep stretch in your hamstring. Really focus on lowering your heart and not your head to um, keep the strain from your neck. And just a few more breaths right here.
begin to lower down into chair pose with Utasana by bending the knees, sitting back into the pose, lifting your arms up, biceps by your ears. Bring your hands into heart center and either keep it here or come to a twisted chair. Taking your elbow across the, the knee. And if you'd like to get a deeper stretch, open up the arms. Take your gaze up to the sky. Gently return back to center and take it to the other side. Either staying in your hands together or open it up. Bring it back to center. Rise back up to, into your chair. From here, see if you can root yourself with your left leg, slightly bent, bring your right foot off the ground, and then begin to step back into a high lunge. And that generous bend in the left leg, right leg nice and straight. And then pivot the right heel down, open up to warrior two. Align your shoulders over your hips, fingers spread opposite directions. Front palm to the sky, and let's go into reverse warrior. Extend the side angle, rotating the left arm down to the left leg, reaching over with the right arm, either straight up or reaching forward. And from here, come down to a low lunge, press back to downward dog, And from here, you have an option to either go into your vinyasa or stay in downward dog for three breaths. So if you're going to the vinyasa, lower down, all the way to the mat. Come up to your back bend. Press back to downward dog. Begin to walk your feet. Back to forward fold. And have begin to rise up. Exhale, come back into chair. Begin to lower down. Biceps by your ears. Heart shines forward. This time root down into that right leg. See if you can lift the left leg off the ground and then step back to your high lunge. Left heel comes down, open up to warrior two on this side. Think about your breathing. Is your breathing still steady?
from here, begin to lower down. So plank and gently bring your knees down to the mat. And let's make our way over to our backs. Coming to a seated position, holding onto your knees, then maybe bring your hands behind the legs. Begin to roll yourself back and slowly come down to the mat. Slow and control. And good. Uh, all right, from here, bring your uh, feet flat on the mat. Take your feet about the mat distance apart. Arms out by your side. Allow your legs to fall to the left side. Inhale to the center. And take your legs over to the right side. And just with your own breath, your own movement, just side to side right here for a few breaths. shoulders. Feel free to close your eyes if you like. Soften your torso. Soften your pelvis. Your legs. Your feet. There's any tension in the body.
to end your class here in Shavasana if you'd like to stay in this state. Or begin to bring life back into the body by wiggling your fingers and toes. In circles with the ankles and wrists. Bringing small movements back to the arms and the legs. And you want to take your head from side to side. And one more good morning stretch. Reaching your arms up, legs down. And then you begin to make your way to your side. Coming into fetal pose, allowing your head to just rest on your bicep. Then at your own pace, coming back to a comfortable position, either seated or kneeling where we started off at.